is that the glory of the Lord will be revealed. Let me say this to you. There is something about God that I know from the Bible. Whatever God has determined to do, he does it. He does it. Either man cooperates with him or uncooperates. God does it. And God has a timing for everything that he will do. But in this case, the ultimate plan of God is that all mankind together, the Africans, the Australians, Australasia, uh, the Caribbean, the Americas, South and North America, and if you have East America and West America, every one of them, the whole of Canada, the whole of Europe, no matter what they believe now, the whole of China, Asia, India, the whole of the Arab countries, all of them, name it, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Libya, Iran, Iraq, Azerbaijan, the whole of Russia, and the whole of the Soviet Union, all mankind, all mankind, all mankind shall see the glory of the Lord. This is the intention of God. This is the intention of God. Which means God wants to show up in Saudi Arabia no matter how much they shut the door. God wants to show up in a man no matter how much they shut the door. He wants to show up in Egypt. He wants to show up in Israel. He wants to show up in the jungles of Africa. No matter how much they worship the devil. God is interested that his glory be revealed and that all mankind shall see the glory. This is the word of the Lord. But for this to happen, God began to speak. Comfort. Comfort my people. Say. Says the Lord God. Speak tenderly to Israel. Uh, to, to Jerusalem. And proclaim to Jerusalem, the church, that her hard service had been completed. Listen. What God is saying is this. Before this manifestation will happen, somebody had to proclaim the truth to the church. Somebody had to show God's people what God has really said. Somebody had to let them understand the meaning of salvation. Somebody had to let them know what the lordship of Jesus really means. He says, your hard time is gone. Your unnecessary suffering is gone. You need to know what the cross of Calvary had done unto all men. The church of God should not preach things that we just keep people on the pews. The time has come for the people of God to know the purposes of God and they should be taught things that will get them out of the streets. Listen, it says speak tenderly to Jerusalem. When I read the scripture, speak tenderly. I expect the next sentence to say that, you know, the love of God. I love you and, you know, things like that. But it is interesting. What is the tender speaking? Tell them the day of their hardship is over. You need to know, any one of you who is born again, no matter how much you have been oppressed before you came to Jesus, I have a good news for you. And listen, from the day that you became born again, the days of your agony and sorrow, yes. the days of your waste of life, yes, the days of your impossibility, yes, the days that you struggle and struggle, you hit against the bricks all the time, it's over. Amen. You need to know that. Amen. Why? He says it. The reason why the days of agony of Jerusalem is over yes. is because that her heart service, which says, her sins had been paid for. The reason why Jerusalem's day of agony is over is that your sins have been paid for. Listen to me. You need to understand this principle. God says, the, the days of your heart service have been completed that is the days that you have served under Satan. The days that Satan has had his way over your family, over your marriage, over your, over your work, over your, your services, over your businesses is over. Your hard service under Satan is over. Why? Because your sins have been paid for. 
Pastor Steve, God says the reason why you and I can no longer serve under the devil is because our sins have been paid for. Amen. Then can we be under generational curse? No, no, sir. no, sir. If God says the days of my heart service is over, yes. can I still be bound by Satan? No, no sir. Do I need deliverance after born again? No, sir. God said the reason why the days of my hardship is over is because Jesus paid for my sins. He paid for my sins. Listen to me. Oppression from the devil comes through sin. Devil has no authority over a righteous man. Someone say, what about Job? Let me tell you something. Job was not born in the time of grace. Yes, he was born in the time of law. That's right. Salvation did not exist in the time of Job. Yes. That is the reason why in the time of Job is permitted. Yes. If you look at this scripture, it says, the reason why the days of our hardship is over is because our sins have been paid for. The sins of man was not paid for in the Old Testament. No, it was covered yes. by all the sacrifices. Yes. But in the New Testament, when Jesus came to the, to the scene, the Bible said Jesus destroyed principalities and powers. He made a public show of them. He went to the cross and he nailed them on the cross. Having canceled every written code that stands against you and I, he nailed them on the cross. He didn't do that for Job. He didn't do that for Moses. He didn't do that in the time of Daniel or David. The Bible says all these patriots, they look at our days and they rejoice in God. Someone says, when a person is born again, he needs to go to deliverance. He is a liar from the devil. He came from the pits of hell. The Bible says here, chapter 40, speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her heart service had been completed. The days of her heart service have been completed. That her sins have been paid for. Listen. I was watching sometimes someone says to me, someone said that, you know, when they were trying to justify, justify all this, this, um, I would call it carnal teaching in the church. Nonsensical preaching. Human preaching from their head and trying to back up so that they can make more money. He said that, you know, that there are big people in the, in the world who come under generational curse. I'm not a big people. I am a born again. The Bible did not say that yes. your heart service is over because you are from a big family. Mm -hmm. It didn't say that tell Jerusalem that their heart service is over because they are from the royal family. It didn't say tell them their service is over because they are from a very multi-million family. Mm -hmm. He says tell them the heart service is over because their sins have been paid for. Yeah. Another version says atoned for. Then in the next line it says that she has received from the Lord hand double for all her sins. Look, look, let me show you something. The Bible cannot lie. I don't care who carries a title that preach against the word of God. He's a liar. No matter how rich he is, he's a liar. A rich liar. And if he's poor, he's a poor liar. The Bible says, instead of our sins, we receive double from God. Amen. Tell somebody you receive double from God. Amen. Listen to me, therefore. That scripture did not say you shall receive it. It says they have received. Is that what your scripture says? Check it. Something that already took place. Let me read it again to you. It says, that she, Jerusalem, the church, has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. 
This is what God said we should tell his church. Do you know something, those of you who listen to me on television? What many of you have not been told is what you really are. What many of you have not been told is what God really has said about you. If a girl grew up thinking he's a boy because someone had not told her that you see the way you look at a girl, she will never be able to use the potentials of a girl. Listen to me. If the son of a rich man whose father died while he was a baby and left the whole riches to him. If he has not been told that your father owns all these houses, all these riches, all these companies, I tell you he will be a cleaner in the company that belongs to him. Yes. And so God says, tell Jerusalem, yes, tell my people, yes. your days of hard service is over. Because I, God, have died and I paid for your sins. Instead of your sins, now you begin to receive. Double is in you. Anyone whose sins have been forgiven had received double. Remember what we are talking about is that you can encounter God. Someone says to me that, but why, why is my life like this? The first why is because you do not know who you really are. The second why is this. If a person has received double, there is a manner of behavior that must be exhibited. If you are the head and you are begging those under you to please help me carry this pot, you are the manager to manage people. Somebody was employed to carry the pot. That's why he's paid. Somebody's employed to carry your chair. That's why he's paid. Somebody's employed to remove your shoes from your leg. That's why he's paid. Somebody's employed to dress the table for you to eat. That's why he's paid. Somebody's employed to go to the kitchen and prepare food for you to eat. That's why he's paid. When you are eating, somebody's employed to stand with his hands at the back and expecting you to raise one hand and give whatever you want. That's why he's paid. But you came in. You told the one that was employed to carry the pot. You said, please, can, can we carry the pot? And you were carrying it together. In a short time, that guy employed to carry the pot will leave you to be carrying the pot. And so you start carrying the pot. Some Christians are like that. The one that is supposed to clean your chair, you say, oh, can we clean this chair now? And you took a duster, and you clean the most part of the chair, and he has to just do some little job. In a short while, the guy will be watching you, and you become the cleaner of the chair. And the one who is supposed to remove your shoes. Oh, when he's coming, say, no, never mind, never mind, never mind. I take care of it. In a short time, the guy will be collecting money, doing nothing. The one that is supposed to stand when you are eating. When he's saying, you say, why, why are you standing? You don't need to. Please sit down. Let's eat together. And then you took a little and gave him the big portion. In a short time, he will become the one rolling his sleeves on your dinner table and the chairperson sit at the end corner of the table and eat all the best of the food. That's what many Christians do. Listen to me. In the book of Hebrews 1, it says, Are not all angels ministering spirits sent to serve those who will inherit salvation? in warfare to be orderly very important to be orderly if you are not orderly you cannot face the devil the fullness of god is what love is you are not full of god but god is using you you are not full of god but god is healing the sick through you cast not devils through you and yet you are not full of god no chaos or voidness can confuse God. No thick darkness can disbalance him. He has his peace and is always in him.